This review is brought to you in part by Rogers Hobby Center in Saginaw, Michigan, where the fun begins. Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the U.S. Coast Guard Cape Class Patrol Bolt Kit from Lindbergh. It's kit number HL216, and 182 scale a Coast Guard class ship that has over 180 parts molded in white and clear with some black thread for rigging. This is a skill level 2 kit for the intermediate builder and requires glue. It's a re-release of the original kit and previously it was offered in a motorized version. It's seen number of box arts over the years and the whole consists of multiple parts with the main deck in one piece. Many of the details are pretty small so you'll have to be careful when you put it together. There's an updated set of decals that includes four different versions that you can use. This is one of Lindbergh's best large-scale ship kits, not to mention the only plastic kit of a post-war U.S. Coast Guard cutter. They were originally designed for anti-submarine warfare, but converted to Coast Guard use um, because the war had ended. The kit cake, uh, represents a Cape class cutter in an as-built configuration. And the basic shapes of the hull and superstructure look okay. And many of the smaller parts, such as the mousetrap launchers and rockets, are finely molded. With a bit of scratch building work, it's the good basis for a nice model. Overall, the dimensions of the kit are about 14 and a half inches long, 3 inches wide, and 6 and a half inches tall on the stand at the top of the mast. Released in 2014, you can still find these kits online, but here, as you can see, uh, the decals are quite colorful, and there's four different um, liveries there. You might want to consider using some of the uh, decal setting solutions available to help the uh, decals uh, conform to contours and stick to the body of the model. Now, we'll be using mostly Model Master liquid cement, occasionally super glue for strength. And if there are any um, window glass, probably some white glue or crystal clear for that. Remember, always follow the manufacturer safety and use guidelines when using any of the products that you see or hear mentioned in the review. Construction starts with the display stand, and I painted mine black and used a silver uh, pen for the lettering uh, so it would stand out. It's a simple um, stand, but it'll be useful to help uh, place the model on when you're doing some of the top work. Put these parts out to start the ship assembly, and it begins with the hull. The hull needs to be painted, uh, but you can do some assembly work prior to that to make it a little easier. Assemble the props and the rudders first on each side uh, of the hull, and then mate the whole sides together. Here you can see the assembly there, and on each of the sides of the, of the hull, you can add the shaft cowl, and then add the shaft and the propeller. Use the rudder mount, and add the propeller mount and the rudder to that. And then install this unit onto the hull, attaching the propeller into place. Uh, and this will be painted uh, as a unit, and once completed, then the propeller will be uh, painted a brass color. First, I um, sprayed the deck with a medium gray primer, and then the hole will be white with a black stripe and anti-fouling red. Uh, to start the hole paint, uh, the anti-fouling red first. Tape off the red and paint the black on the hole, and this will be taped off to create the black stripe. And then the white will be painted for the remainder of the hole. I used uh, a 3M fine line tape for this. Um, you can get it from automotive uh, body repair stores uh, because it's nice tape and it leaves a clean line. It's uh, vinyl and uh, it's pretty crisp. So I masked the rest of the area with uh, 2 inch blue painters low tack tape to uh, mask that off for painting and striping. Next you can install the deck on the inside of the hole. And the hole width uh, of my sample was a little bit too wide just slightly so I used a couple of clips there while the glue cured to uh, make sure that they stayed together and in position. Next we'll start the uh, cabin structure with these pieces so paint the outer walls white as well as the uh, small top corner braces and the upper and lower floors control deck and panel are medium gray. The steering wheel uh, and nose controls are gold tint. Now we'll assemble these parts in this order. Install all the port windows into the walls and on one side uh, wall then add the lower floor, the upper floor, and the control panel. And then attach the other side wall. Add the front wall and then the control deck. And add the corner braces, steering wheel, and controls into place then. 
Gather up these pieces to build the control room, then paint the walls in the front frame white, the ladder's gold tint, and the boxes that mount on the wall are gray. Now assemble in this order. Install the windows into the walls and the front window frame. Then add the three boxes in place on the back wall. There's no positive attachment points, so just some markings as to where they go. Now add both walls to the floor in place and add the back wall in place. Then add the front window and use some uh, Elmer's or clear or white glue for all of the window glass. Now we'll grab the pilot and the roof uh, to can finish off the control room. The roof is gray and the pilot is painted like this. Uh, he's got a blue uniform, a black belt and shoes, a skin tone face and hands, brown hair, and then add the pilot into the control room at the steering wheel, then install the roof. Get these pieces out to work on the uh, deck house and paint all the parts white except for the mast and the exhaust unit and then assemble the exhaust unit and paint that and the mast flat black. Attach the cabinets into place along the walls on both sides and the locations have raised areas in the floor where they go. The small gear boxes go into the center platform and the larger boxes go beside the stack location. The exhaust and the mast go in the stack center. Now a ladder is installed on each side to the upper level and note that the roof is now in place from the previous step. Get these pieces ready for assembly and note that um, they're not the depth charges are not installed till step 14 but we're going to assemble them here at step 8 so assemble the depth charges with the stands and paint them flat black then assemble the utility cabinets and paint them white uh, with a spar color bases and then the lifeboat is white and the lifeboat insert is spar color now the hatches are white with spar bases and the flag masts are spar as are the rollers and the hooks decal the lifeboat with the whole name of your choice and you can see the back page uh, for those decal locations. Now we can attach the deck components to the deck uh, and on the aft deck area add the four depth charge units and add the angled flag post and the four rollers. Now add the hatch. Insert the lifeboat seats to the lifeboat and add that to the deck and then add the two posts into place. On the bow of the deck, add the straight flag pole and the four hooks and add the four rollers and then the round and square hatch. Add both utility boxes there. We'll use these parts for the next assembly and the rafts and the life preservers uh, are painted fluorescent red for the deck house components here and the rings around the preservers are white. Decals 16, 17, 18 or, or 19 go on the rafts and the three spotlights are white with silver lenses. The tie ring is white and the tie post is white. The horn is white with a red tip. The two panels are black and assemble the gun turret, mount gun and shield uh, and ammo pack and paint that black. Now assemble the stack and paint the bottom part spar with the black ring on top. If you use the uh, post 64 paint uh, scheme decal 3 goes on the stack on both sides and on each side of the cabin mount the preserver, raft and spotlight. The tie, uh, the tie post is on the right side and the gun is on the aft floor of the cabin. Now the stack is in the center over the exhaust and on the top roof uh, the side panels horn and the spotlights are attached and the tie ring is on the lower roof. Grab these parts for the radar mast and attach the back brace to the front. Insert the marker lights into the center and attach the top to the supports. Add the radar box. Paint this unit spar color and then paint the radar silver as well as the marker light lens. Attach the radar to the box and attach the whole unit uh, to the cabin's roof. That was a lot of small parts but at this point uh, the cabin is finished and we can attach that uh, mount that to the top of the deck in its location. We use these pieces to finish the bow components so assemble the mouse traps and paint those flat black and paint the bombs silver with orange uh, ends. Now add the bombs to the mouse trap and install the completed assemblies onto the deck. Assemble the crank and the handles and paint the unit spar with black grips. Now attach that into place on the deck. Paint the anchor spar color and attach into place. We'll use these pieces to finish the aft components and paint all the rail posts white 
and install 27 along the deck's edge. Now paint the hatches white and install those into place. The brace is spar colored and installed then. There's a couple other crewmen here that the instructions don't really uh, have placement for. So paint the area skin tone. The uh, uniforms are blue with black belts and shoes. And just place them where you see fit to do so uh, on your ship. So next we can create the rails uh, for the ship and that's what the thread in the kit is for. Um, you, you just use two strands and glue them in place on the rail posts uh, at uh, varying heights here as you can see. And I use some white glue for this so that it dries clear. Next we are going to uh, tie a thread to the radar mast ends down to the roof of the pilot house on each side. And this will be for the flag signals and the uh, American flag there. Um, Cut the flags the way you want and fold them in half, gluing the halves together with white glue around the thread. And add the larger American flag to the flag pole in the same way at the stern. Now it's time to uh, add the decals to the kit. Use plenty of warm water so that they uh, get flexible and pliable. And then uh, use some warm water to place them onto positions uh, on the ship. And then uh, I strongly suggest you use some of the uh, decal setting solutions for that because uh, these are there's some pretty large ones and some pretty sharp contours for them to uh, conform to. You'll have some pieces uh, and decals left over from the your kit uh, build. Uh, most of these uh, belong to the motorized version of this model um, but um, they're just extra pieces just to do what you will with them and keep the decals in case those come up again. Well, there you have it. This is one of Lindbergh's nicer large-scale ship kits. Uh, it's pretty crisp and nice overall, and the look is correct. Uh, by 64, when the uh, real uh, ship's uh, paint jobs had changed to the uh, red stripes, they were given cape-related names, and the anti-sub-weapons had been removed. Uh, so the cape-class ships were mostly then search and rescue, and unless uh, they're decaled without the stripe and using the pre-64 decals the build would not be real accurate. So it's um, made for what it is as a search and rescue ship model and there's plenty of room to add details to the deck if you like uh, but it looks pretty complete uh, as it is. Assembly's really easy and straightforward. There were no snags in building uh, just a slightly enlarged hull but that's good. Uh, it's better than being too tight uh, but just clamp that into position and you'll have an excellent looking ship for your display. The instructions were pretty clear except uh, there was no indication of where the people go and so you can put them anywhere you like. I think uh, that uh, round two did a good job re-releasing these larger scale ships and if I were you I'd buy one and put it on my shelf. We hope you liked this premium step-by-step -step model kit review and so that you don't miss any more please subscribe to our YouTube channel but you can find us on Facebook and also at our website right on replicas.com. Thanks!